Hi, for those of you who don't know me, I'm FMCA Four Wheelers Chapter Member Sam Walker. Today we're going to talk a bit about GMRS, also known as General Mobile Radio Service. As many of you know, the chapter adopted this change to the trail radio system. This change to GMRS as the chapter's standard trail radio system will be effective Sunday, October 3rd, 2021. This is the Sunday of the pre-run week of the Moab Gathering. This change to GMRS has and will continue to spark many questions about the system, the radios, and the antennas. This video will focus on the antenna use and the installation. Your existing complete CB antenna will not work with GMRS. Some portions of the coax and antenna mounts may be reusable if you're going to take out your CB and put the GMRS in its place. At the very least, the antenna portion of the CB system will have to be changed. The first question that should be answered would be, do you want to replace the CB antenna with the GMRS or separate antenna system? The next question would be, do you want a permanent antenna install or do you want something more temporary? We will discuss all of these options in some detail. I have segmented the video and labeled the sections down at the bottom so that you may watch the video in its entirety or fast forward to the sections that best apply to what you want to accomplish. Though the chapter does not specifically endorse a manufacturing or brand or specific device, I will put some links to the description below the video to assist you in speeding up your searches and finding the options that could work for you or your install. As always, please feel free to contact me if you have specific questions or don't see what you want to apply in any one of your situations. I will start with the easiest and most temporary solution. A prepackaged and assembled magnetic mount antenna comes with the Midland MXT 105, 115, and 275 radios. It is by far the easiest antenna system for GMRS. This antenna is part of the plug and play beauty of the Midland radio solutions. It is pre-tuned and matched and is set to provide moderate power gain. You pull it out of the package, stick the antenna on a piece of your vehicle that has steel, route the cable to the radio, and connect it. Even if you don't use this antenna in your system, it's never a bad idea to carry it in the Jeep in case your primary system becomes compromised. All of the following mounting systems and choices are permanent installations. When considering a permanent install, the absolute best location for an antenna is in the middle of a metal roof in the center of the vehicle. Since that option is almost never available in a Jeep, every other mounting location becomes a compromise of some kind. Generally speaking, antennas are found near the hood or windshield in front or on or near the spare tire carrier in the rear of the Jeep. Vertical antenna placement to keep it away from the metal jeep tub and spare tire rim is important. The higher you can get the base of the antenna, the better it will work. Grounding of antennas to the chassis of the vehicle will improve antenna performance and range of your radio system. For the GMRS frequency range, a 6 to 8 inch 360 degree ground plane around the base of the antenna is optimal. When we start putting antennas at the side or the end of the vehicle, this reduces the ground effect. It is part of the compromise that I talked about earlier. The first antenna mounting system that I will cover will be NMO mounts. NMOs are the standard of the commercial and public safety radio markets. When properly assembled, NMO mounts are quite robust and should last quite a long time. NMO mounts will work well at either end of the vehicle. All that's needed is an area of metal that is parallel with the plane of the Jeep and can support a hole that is between 3 8 and 3 quarters of an inch in diameter, depending on the style and brand of NMO. The trick with NMO is to figure out your mounting bracketry to obtain the horizontal plane for the antenna mounting surface. Bob Stein's right front fender mount is simple but highly effective. Some examples include simple brackets that come out from underneath the hood like Bob's, Others include brackets that clamp to the hood. Others yet include brackets that are bolted or welded to the Jeep. Terry Brewer used a bracket that screws to the driver's side windshield for his NMO mount, and Vince Sheets used Arizona Rocky Road mounts at the rear of his rig. In this install, Quinn Thomas bolted mounting plates to both sides of his Gladiator in front of the windshield. 
he installed the ham antenna on the driver's side and the CB and GMRS antennas on the passenger side. The GMRS antenna in the picture is one of the Midlands ghost antennas. For those of you who want to delve into the details of how an NMO connector is put together, here's one that's partially disassembled. This also shows how coax works. Coax generally has five parts. Starting from the outside, it has an outer protective plastic cover. Then there is a metal thin strand weave of wires that is normally grounded. Then there's a thin foil shield. After that is the plastic insulation that separates the ground weave from the and foil from the center core. And finally there is the center core. The center core wire carries the signal to the antenna. For the NMO connector, the weave connects to the outer portion of the connector, which makes contact with the metal of the mounting surface. The center core of the wire is soldered to the center post of the connector. Care should be taken to ensure that the weave and center core do not make contact with each other at the completion of the installation. Many Jeepers have used a fire stick type CB mount that includes an SO239 or PL259 barrel connector on the underside of the mount. If you have used a barrel style connector and wish to change the antenna to an NMO style connector, there's an adapter that should allow you to quickly make the change to an NMO style GMRS antenna while making use of your original coax and radio connector. This is what Vince Sheets has used on the driver's side mount. This would be useful for those of you who are considering using the same single coax and either switching to GMRS permanently or those who want only one antenna on their rig and want the option of switching back to CB on occasion. Thanks to Vince Sheets, Bart Lennonbrink, and Bob Westendorf for sending in their mounting solutions. The last style of antenna that I'm going to cover is the Fire Stick 2 or ring style of CB antenna mount. I'm covering this so that those who have this style for their CB can have an understanding of why the Fire Stick 2 cannot be converted. The Fire Stick 2 uses an insulated bolt and two rings on the end of a coax. One ring makes contact with the metal bracket for the ground, and the other ring makes contact with the center bolt, which is insulated from the bracket. The bolt extends up and makes contact with the antenna, which connects using a 3 8 inch by 24 thread per inch thread count to attach. Because this is an unusual setup, no one makes an adapter or connector to convert to NMO style antenna. I have not been able to find a 3 8 inch by 24 threaded antenna that is made or tuned for GMRS. There are several for the ham bands, but none for GMRS. Therefore, if you're using a Fire Stick 2 ring mount, for your CB, your choices are likely to be to install a separate new antenna system or to cut off the end ring and splice in an NMO or SO239 or PL259 style end and choose an NMO style antenna for the GMRS. If you're still stumped by the antenna placement or installation process, your local four-wheel drive shop may have some experience or expertise on where and how to install an antenna for your GMRS radio. So let's bring this all together. GMRS will be the new standard for trail communications for the FMCA four-wheelers starting with the pre-run week of the Moab gathering in October 2021. Your current CB antenna system will not work in, in its entirety for GMRS. Portions of some CB coax may be able to be reused. You need to determine if you're going to use a permanent or temporary antenna solution for GMRS. For permanent GMRS antenna installations, an NMO style antenna mount provides the broadest choice of antennas. Since every antenna install and Jeep is unique, installation location, equipment, and conditions will vary. If you have any questions or situations that you'd like to discuss, please don't hesitate to contact me at 530-306-1988. Thanks for watching, and Ann and I look forward to seeing you out there on the trail. Happy trail!